You see it. You see the mosquito. You know who we're going to talk about? The man behind mosquitoes himself, Mr. Gates. Now, uh, you, you hadn't heard much from him lately. We've been kind of hearing, uh, well, let's say lack of a better term, crickets from, <laughs> from his camp. Well, we decided to go take a gander at his, um, his, his YouTube page just to see if there's anything new. And apparently there, there is. Uh, many people are taking after him in his manufacturing of genetically modified insects to, to combat, hear me out, to combat things that insects give people, uh, malaria in this case. Uh, uh, there isn't a slight outbreak in the United States in case you missed that one. And they're planning to use the same method that they're going to hear him talk about, maybe in fighting that. Look, I've never understood how how... Let me think about how I'm going to say this. Sound nice. I want to sound good. People will tell you <laughs> that they have nefarious motives, and people are going to still use their products. I I don't I don't get it. Anyway, let's hear what this uh, African scientist has come up with in order to make sure that malaria is is stunted <sighs> using this mosquito. Nothing good can come of this. Anyway, let's hear. Back it all the way up. One of the most exciting new innovations to fight malaria got some help from a honeybee and a frog. You see, you see. <laughs> Look, I've watched enough movies and I'm aware of enough things to know that when we start playing or pretending we are like at, at the level of God to start taking from over here and taking from here to put together. Look, man, look, I've seen the fly. I've seen Jurassic Park. I, why, why do we keep doing this? Why do we keep thinking this is a good idea? Like, honestly, to fight malaria, though. I remember when people said that he had, uh, had he was a head start about making sure malaria was a thing in the past. Now, that's no longer the case. People forget that. Okay. Anyway, continue, sir. Scientists in Africa have developed genetically modified mosquitoes that are resistant to the malaria parasite, making them unable to transmit the deadly disease to humans. So, so let me get this right. You genetically make a mosquito to replace the population of mosquitoes that will give people malaria in hopes that this one won't give them malaria if they get bit by this. So here's my question. Why not just eradicate mosquitoes altogether in the area if you plan to replace them with these? No? Okay. You still want to have mosquitoes. <laughs> Woo-wee! You know what? I'm, I'm convinced that we are, we are living in an upside-down world. Really upside-down. Because it really, hear me out. The only way this could make any sense and really know any better is if we have a uh, a way to track these, which you probably do because there's nothing but genetically modified. You track these and make them trackable different than the ones that do give malaria. But if the implementation is to keep mosquitoes from biting people anyway, again, how is this going to help anything at all? I, anyway, maybe they'll tell us. The International Research Program, led by the Ifakara Health Institute in Tanzania and Imperial College London, is called Transmission Zero. The global aim of this program is basically to design mosquitoes via genetic engineering so that they cannot carry malaria parasite. And we hope in future we can be able to release mosquitoes out there. And these mosquitoes, even if they bite someone, they won't be able to transmit the malaria parasite. What me? You know, you're not addressing the current situation. Cause, okay, if you have an outbreak and you're telling me that the methods you tried before didn't work, if your hope is that you will in the future release these, but it doesn't seem to be so far a guarantee. So I'm hoping you wait till you have a guarantee that they won't. Um, what happens if these particular mosquitoes breed with other mosquitoes that do carry malaria? I'm hoping they're thinking of that one. So let's see, if, again, questions I have, maybe people don't have, so I'm trying to figure out they have an answer for it. What made this breakthrough possible was the discovery of anti-malaria molecules 
found in the European honeybee and the African claw frog. There is so much solution in nature for most of our problems. It's just that we need to be innovative and creative to find where those solutions are. Our colleagues realize the antimicrobial peptides from European honeybees and African frogs stop the parasite development. We are adding a very minor genetic modification. Uh -huh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> see, see, see. I want the answers to how is that going to affect humans when you do. I, I get you're trying to fight malaria. Okay, malaria is no longer the problem. You see that one statement that we're adding a very minor genetic modification. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. To make sure that there's a mosquito that will be immune to malaria parasite. The Transmission Zero program has the potential to add a game-changing tool to our fight against malaria. The ultimate aim is to make sure that these mosquitoes are out there. They cover a large geographic area of the country. Because we are putting these mosquitoes in the community, they need to know what are we doing, and they need to be involved from the first go. To make are they going to recognize the mosquito when they see it and say, oh no, don't get bit by that one, that's a purple one. Okay. Make sure they understand what this technology is about, and we want the community to be part of these entomological studies. Malaria is one of the deadliest diseases across Africa. And there is one child dying every minute. So it's our responsibility, being African, to address this challenge. If there's no malaria in Africa, the impact is massive to take out the burden of people that get sick every day, but also the burden of children not going to school. It's a combination of a better life at individual level and economic gain for the community and the entire region. Again, I will always say, why is Bill Gates testing certain things in certain regions? And people say, but because there are certain things prevalent in that region, so he's got to make sure he tests it there first. All right, let's give you that. Let's say that is what it is. Region, specific, a large thing, best testing area. Let's go with that. You come up with this logic that if we were to send out these mosquitoes and they don't they they bite people they will not give anybody malaria okay, cool let's go with that working let's say it does work a hundred percent what then is your method for eradicating the mosquitoes that do that's number one and two did you make a contingency plan for if those mosquitoes interbreed i haven't heard that statement made throughout this at all I haven't heard that you make them replicable. I have not heard, if, are they genetically modified so where they can't breed? Or are you the only ones that can manufacture them? Is this the, the way that you make them genetically modified, make them that the next time they breed, they breed the same kind? Or would the eventuality thing that it breeds out of them, the ability to not carry malaria so that the next generation does indeed carry malaria and in a stronger form because now you've done something that it shouldn't have done. You know, kind of like how Bill Gates stuff naturally works. One minute it works for you. And then by the time you get around to actually seeing what it does later on, it's three times as bad as what you were trying to fight. Yeah. Oh, this couldn't, this can't go wrong at all. In fact, in fact, I predict a million percent success. Sure. Let's go with that. At what point are we going to stop trusting this? Listen, listen, listen. People had problems with, with what's his name? RFK. Because they say RFK don't know nothing about nothing. He ain't no doctor. That's what they say. Yet and still, we have a dude who started off in computers and is not a virologist trying to dictate mandates for not just America, but the globe. He got his hands in genetically modifying, creating animals that affect world populations. And look, idiocracy is becoming more and more real to me every day. Every day, I, I don't think the people who made that movie really were talking about an impossibility. I think they might have been time travelers, man. They may have seen in the future and seen that people really are this daft, and they just made the movie to replicate it. Wow. All right, so here's a question. Do you guys believe that these mosquitoes will help? Do you believe that what they're doing is a good process? Now, having grown up around mosquitoes really all my, when I was a child and malaria being something that they did indeed carry around, 
Uh, I'm not saying that any child or adult should have to deal with malaria, but this doesn't seem like the fix at all. Like, at all. But again, everybody knows, but dummy, how did Gene deal say, dummy? I don't know much about virology, but I do know something about logic. And the logic don't seem to be logicking when their process is being rolled out like this. So maybe y'all can help us. Please tell me whether or not you believe this makes sense, not make sense. Is it something that you would be in? invested in trying to say yes we should try and do it more in more places because remember there's beginning to be an outbreak here too let's see if bill gates has some closing lines of wisdom maybe he doesn't thanks to innovations like transmission zero the world is moving closer to the day when malaria will be a disease of the past by making new mosquitoes everybody need new mosquitoes you know what i wake up in the morning and think to myself you know what? There's just not enough mosquitoes to go around. We need more varying types of mosquitoes. I've never said that to myself. And, and I don't think I have the time to figure out whether the one that landed on me is one that has or doesn't have a certain disease. And sometimes I'm asleep and I don't know whether it bites me. So why not just try to eradicate malaria as a carrier from mosquitoes, instead of creating a new mosquito that you say can't carry it, but you haven't told me whether or not it'll eventually not do that when it finally breeds again. It seems like a solution that's very temporary to me. But hey, if you all know the answer, please let us know. If you got a take on it, you trust Bill Gates. That's the first question. Do you trust Bill Gates and his people and the research they do to actually be to the benefit of you and I and people overseas? Or... Do you think that they're doing this as a form of the thing we've always talked about that they were trying to do, which is the control of the population? You let us know in the comment section below, because I think this one might end up being a good conversation for us to have, because uh, if it does become successful in deployment, not in result, but in deployment overseas, here could be next. And pretty soon you'll be walking around the place having to worry about whether the mosquito bit you. It's going to give you malaria end your life or make you become mosquito man I, I don't know i guess we'll find out in time but in the meantime and in between time we'll look forward to your comments on this one